Welcome to the vlog. Love like you never grew up and live like you just get one tonight. We're kings and queens. One blink and it's over. Wake up and we're older tonight. We're kings and queens. We are continuing our chicken batch cook week can you say that chicken and batch cook week <laughs> very good and tonight we are making see chicken pot pie chicken pot pie oh my goodness chicken pot pie yeah are you gonna help me uh -huh. what are we making cheese pot pie cheese pot pie yeah well that sounds pretty delicious too we're gonna make the pie crust right oh uh. so what's in there right now yeah. Cheese. No, what is that? And butter. Butter. And what else is in there? Um, flour. That's right. What's this down there? The pink stuff. Um, salt. Very good. What are we gonna do with this? Um, with this. Like that. That's right. That's what we do. And it mixes it a little bit, huh? Uh huh. Okay. Here we go. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's faster. <laughs> Good job mixing, Charlie. Did you wash your hands? Yeah. yeah. You did. It looks like it looks like sugar. Looks like sugar. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Betty. Hi. Very good, Bobby Gara. <laughs> Let him have a turn. Don't do it faster, Jemai. Jemai, I said it. Don't do it faster. Hey, Charlie, don't be bossy. Hey, what? That was a big piece of butter. No. You're fired. You are. Add in one fourth of a cup of cold water. Okay, pour it in. Very good. We're gonna use our hands, okay? Okay. How's it look? Is it ready? Yeah. Yeah? So now we're gonna cut it into two equal size shapes. Just right down in half. Okay, now we have our dough balls. We wrap them up. We're gonna put them in the refrigerator and mean that so that they can harden up and the butter can harden back up. That means it makes it extra flaky. And, and, and they're gonna get cold. That's right, they are. I think we're gonna get put in our refrigerator. All right, let's go. are chilled. We just wanted the butter to harden back up so it wasn't all absorbed into the dough so that way it'll melt when we bake it and it gets it nice and flaky. We've dusted our rolling out pad. You can just do it on a counter. I just like to clean. This is way easier than my countertop. Each one, one is for the bottom, one is for the top. That is why there are two dough balls. So we have the chicken pot pie filling that we did the other day when we were doing chicken in a cloud. And we made a double batch because we wanted it for leftovers. So we just had it in our refrigerator, but you can freeze it. Um, and if you do freeze it, just pull it out earlier that day so it has time to thaw. This is just refrigerator temp. We're just gonna put it into our shelf. Yeah, they are. You wanna help me put them in? So I'm just going to put the filling into the pie shelf and it is really nice to have a, it is 
really nice to have. Oh, because that yeah, pull it up again. Cause actually, the ceramic is already kind of straight. Yeah. Really nice to have it's a wavy. great mm. print. Makes it look nice. Pie plate because you don't really have to worry about how. Who's it's this? Who's this little girl right here? Ready to help? Can you scoop this in there? Move your arms. So it doesn't fall on your arm, silly. <laughs> Now we will say if you want to get both meals done in the same day and freeze the pot pie, that's absolutely fine. Yeah. It's a little easier going into the pot pie mold, if you will, when it's hot or warm. But it'll work just as good. <laughs> so you see purple in there, that's from our purple carrots. Our heirloom purple carrots, man. We leave a mark. Smooth it out. And this pie crust literally took me less than 10 minutes to prepare. So this is really a fast dinner to put together. pre-crimped pie shell. <laughs> or my pre-crimped. Why would you crimp it? My pre-crimped pie plate. What's, what's happening to the dough? Why are you crimping it? You want, you want the stuff to stay in. So you're, what, you're sealing it? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I cut it to where the pie crust was a little bit over the edges. That way I had enough to fold it underneath and then you kind of pinch it together. Now, there's a bunch of different ways you can pinch it, seal it, whatever. It's important to fold it over and seal it. Yeah. This is just the way that I have done it. Like you could also like have it like this, where you go. Well, that's pretty good. You sure you're not hiding out it other ways? What do you mean? That is another way. I know, I'm just saying. That's I'm just going, good. that's that's easier to do like when you don't have a pre-crimped mm. pie shell. I but see. since I already have one. Just use it. Yeah, I'm just using the lines that it's given me. Tuck it under and then pinch it together and pinch it shut. So I'm like pinching my thumb and my forefinger together and then I'm pinching together right here. So that way it's making at least a little bit of a pretty design. Next comes the egg wash. And then we're gonna do a fun little design on top to let out the steam. Do it too small, it just closes up and doesn't doesn't act as a steam a steam release, correct? Right. right. So you wanna make sure they're decent size slits. Egg wash, we're almost there. Super simple. Crack an egg. Take a pastry brush. Mm-hmm. Egg white, egg yolk, the whole thing? Yep. This gives it a nice, shiny gloss over top, and that's what makes it look super professional. And your guests or your family are just never gonna believe that you actually did it yourself. Ready? Gotta be green. Just put it down. Okay, can you tell Daddy what you're gonna do? Wait, what are you doing? What's in there? Egg. That's right. What does this do? When you put egg on pie, what does it do? Um, does 
that make it darker and shiny? Yeah. Yeah, it gives it a nice golden brown crust, huh? Yeah. And it makes it purple. It makes it purple? Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. And even they can bleed black. It can bleed black? Down there. <laughs> so now we're going to put it into the oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. It has to be a preheated oven. And then that's going to go on there for about 15 minutes at 425 and then we're going to bump it down to 375 for the rest of the time, which is about another 30 minutes. 